So in this video, we're going to go over how to use the ultrasound machine. Um, every machine is going to be a little bit different, but the basic functions are going to be the same for every machine. You just have to find out where the buttons are. So for this machine, it's a Philips Spark machine. Um, the first thing you want to do is select the correct transducer. So right here where it says transducer, when you push that, it changes the transducer. So if you look at the top left of the screen, where it says S4-2, that is the type of probe. So here, you can see that it says S4-2, it switched to that. So I push the transducer again, it goes to L12-4, which corresponds to this transducer, L12-4. All right, so that, the 12-4 corresponds to the, the frequency of the probe. So the higher the frequency of the probe, the more superficial uh, structures you can scan in the lower frequency, the better penetration, but the lower resolution. So pick the appropriate probe for your application. So after you pick the appropriate probe, you want to uh, pick the appropriate application for the probe. So right underneath the transducer, it says exam. So I push exam. You see on the top right of the screen, it gives me options on which applications I want to use. So do, uh, for the linear probe, you have musculoskeletal applications, ocular, arterial, venous, vascular access, or lung, or nerves. So depending on what you're scanning, make sure you uh, select the correct preset because that will optimize your frequency and your penetration for that application. So if we switch back to the phase array probe, if I go to the exam there, um, you can see that there's abdominal, cardiac, pelvic, fast scan mode, lung, and additional ones too if you want um, to open up more. So the main ones you're going to use are probably abdominal, cardiac, and pelvic. Um, one thing to note is by default this machine goes on to cardiac and you notice that the indicator is on the right side of the screen. Um, that's only for cardiac. If we switch to abdominal mode you see that that indicator on the screen switches to the left side and the indicator is where that P is on that screen. So just make sure you are on the correct mode before you start scanning um, or else you won't get your optimal images. So after you pick the correct probe, you pick the, the, pick the correct preset, you're going to start scanning. So now we're just going to do a, a sample scan of a forearm. And I'm going to switch to a linear probe. You see the, L, the linear probe with, uh, let's just say, a musculoskeletal application here. Okay. So now we're going to scan a forearm and just look at, say, the radial artery. So the radial artery is on the top of the screen right there. And what you can see on the right side of the screen is the depth. So there's a two centimeter and four centimeter area on the screen on the right side. That corresponds to how far your ultrasound uh, beam is penetrating. So the middle here corresponds to the depth. So if I increase the depth here, you see that number goes to 4.5 and to five, and that's increasing my depth and lets me um, see deeper structures. If I decrease my depth, if I'm looking for the radial artery, I don't need to look at the bones and the structures beneath that. I just want to focus on the radial artery, so I want to decrease my depth to make sure I can see that structure. It's kind of like using a camera and really um, zooming in on the structure or the, uh, the, the point of interest. So here is appropriate depth for the radial artery, and you can see that's right in the middle there. The other thing besides depth um, that you need to really get a grasp of is the gain. So these buttons right here on the right side are the gain. So if I go up, you see the gain increases or it gets, makes the screen brighter. And if I go down, it makes it less bright. So the gain just basically makes it brighter. You can tap it too, or you can just scroll up and down. And like I said, every machine will have a gain and a depth button. Um, so you just have to find where those are. Um, the other button that some machines have is called a focus button. So here to the left is a focus. So if you look on the right side of the screen, there's a couple of arrows. And if I go up and down, you see that, let's see if we can, you see the arrows moving up and down on that right side? So that corresponds to the focus. So um, when you're on uh, any modes, that, like cardiac mode, you want to make sure that the focus is on the area of interest because that will, that will increase your resolution wherever that focus is. All right. So once again, I'm going to optimize my depth here. So another important uh, topic to go over is the color flow Doppler. So for color flow Doppler, um, you can see on the top right of the screen, we push the color flow, which is just this button right here, and that will turn on the color flow Doppler. Red, 
means towards a probe and blue means away from the probe. There's a concept called BART, B-A-R-T, so that helps you remember blue is away, red is towards. So here I am going to tilt my probe so blood is going towards my probe and you can see that the flow is red. So now I'm going to shift the angle with that same artery in view. I'm going to shift it now. The blood flow is going to go away from my probe and now it's blue. So remember that red does not mean artery and blue does not mean vein. It just means which way the direction of blood flow is going towards my probe, either away or towards. All right. So the other mode that is important is called M mode or motion mode. So here we're just going to look at, the, go to lung setting and on this scan we're looking at the lung sliding of the visceral parietal pleura sliding across each other. So if I put an M mode cursor on, you see the yellow dots going straight down. So if you think about those, that line right there, and the ultrasound probe will only measure motion along that one line. When you push the M mode button to activate it, you see that everything else disappears. Just imagine it's just scanning that one line over time. And that will give you the motion of, uh, motion of, the, of your structure of interest over time. So this is normal lung sliding, and you can see that it has a sandy appearance when he's breathing in and out, and that motion of that pleura is captured with the M mode. So another important application for the nobology section is using the freeze button. So a lot of times when you have a structure that's moving fast, and you want to examine a single image at one point in time, you can freeze the image and then scroll back so here is the parasternal long axis view of the heart. I'm going to freeze the image. So it freezes it. But in addition, you can actually scroll back to, to a few beats afterwards to see if there's a certain area that you're really interested in also. So that's the freeze mode. And if you push acquire or save, that will actually save that image to the system if you want to review it for later on.